I remember one thing vivid as a moment that kind of changed my life to some degree is when I first experienced the original Macintosh. I didn't have one, but I had access to a library that had one. When the original Apple II computers came out, my elementary school got a shipment uh, from Cupertino. That's where it all began for me. Probably 1978 or 9. 2008, when I actually moved out to Silicon Valley uh, to go to Stanford for business school. I was lucky enough to be in college during the time that Facebook came out and social networks started happening and I was really at the point where I could remember what the world was like without it but I also could see what the world was like with it. I don't know that I would ever say technology is at the core of what I'm interested in actually. I'm more of a media guy than a pure technology guy but realized early on that for us to scale a new age media business you were going to need great technology to do it. It's when I was 11 and I went to see Star Wars and I fell in love with R2-D2. I think I was 9 or 10 when I first started writing code on a Commodore 64 and TRS 80s. War Games. I watched that movie when I was a kid, War Games, and I was pretty sure at that point in time I was going to be a computer engineer or a programmer or a technician of some sort, but I didn't, I didn't do any of those things. But I uh, came full circle, ended up back in technology much later in life.